Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. We're going to do a quick check out of the DeepMind 12 and the latest firmware update. So stay tuned. Okay, let's have a look at this update. So let's first go into the program global. So we can see here that it's uh, 1.05 and the latest update is 1.1. All right, so let's update it. So over here, we've unzipped the, the zip file and I'm running this on a PC. So let's run our updater. Now I've got the DeepMind plugged in via USB. So let's make sure that it's connected. It says it is, that's good. And let's get the update which is that, that's there. Hopefully it doesn't crash or anything. Let's go. All right, let's have a quick look. That's updating there. I want to quickly fade to this so you can see it is upgrading here. And back to that. And you can see it's definitely doing something there. There's a whole stack of stuff here happening. I hope this doesn't crash. I've never done this before. Okay, it says please switch the unit off to then complete the update. And you can see here on the computer it's it's just disappeared so it looks like it's finished. Okay. Fingers crossed. There's a whole lot of stuff happening here. Promising. Okay, we're back on, we got sound. That is cool. Let's go into global. Yes, so now it says 1.1. Awesome. Let's just pop the uh, iPad up. Okay, so I've got the iPad here. Let's make sure we're connected. I'm just going to adjust the frequency up and down like this, okay? Now if I go back to the iPad, you can see it. They've added a ping pong mode to a delay effect, which is something that I love. So we're going to check that out as well. Okay. Let's hold that. So that's definitely in there. Right, so the polychord feature is added. Uh, we'll go into that and have a look at that. That is really cool. Uh, key range to the chain parameter of the poly menu. So you go to poly menu. Okay, there's the range. So that's in there. Poly chain features are in here as well. I saw them just. Yeah, so there's poly chain. Global VCA mode. So let's check this out. So here's the VCA. Okay, so there's the VCA mode on transparent. And then we can change that to ballsy. Okay, so let's try this out. change that to transparent all right so 
next one is the the favorites. Let's say this is our favorite. I guess you've got to keep holding down prog, toggle FX, and you press plus to add it to your favorites. So then you go prog FX, and then the rotary now shows favorites. So now you can put your favorites in there. Apparently there's FX navigation improvements here. I don't really use that for FX. I actually find using the iPad is much better for FX. So you've got the FX here and you don't really have a well, you can do it all in here, but I just like that visual. And you've got all of those controls across to play with. Also, I like just when I'm going through presets to keep it on the FX page as I'm changing presets because I can tell what patches are actually using them. So interestingly, this is not coming up with any presets, but there's a heap in here. So I don't know, maybe that app needs to be updated. So yeah, I found something wrong. Yay, hero.